a showdown now looming. New drama in the battle over Atlanta's proposed public safety training center. Protesters call it Cop City. And three opponents arrested on controversial new charges are about to walk free on bail. This is the latest round of turbulence in nearly two years of contentious back and forth. And the whole issue is heading for a vote Monday at City Hall. First at four, Atlanta News First, Patrick Quinn, live outside Atlanta City Hall right now. Patrick, walk us through what happened today at DeKalb County Magistrate Court. Well, Sean, the big news today is that a judge granted bond to those three activists and those against the building of this planned public safety training center. They see this ruling today is a big win. As we approach Monday, of course, City Council then will vote whether or not to publicly fund roughly $31 million towards the development of this training center, what critics call Cop City. But again, that order by the judge granted roughly an hour or so ago, and we were watching this hearing today, and here are the three organizers. Marlon Couts, Savannah Patterson, and Adele McLean. They will soon be released on a newly granted $15,000 bond each. They will have conditions to their release, including they have to turn in their passports. They will have to report to pretrial services. They'll have limits to their social media use, but overall, the judge said he did not find the state's case, quote, real impressive. The state argued their alleged financial crimes were directly tied to illegal activity at the site of the training center and in arrest warrants the state said the three were arrested for, quote, misleading contributors by using funds collected through a state of Georgia registered 501c3 network for strong communities to fund the actions in part to defend the Atlanta forest, a group classified by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security as domestic violent extremists. We do know that Roughly 40 or so activists over the course of this long debate have been arrested and charged with domestic terrorism. Now, the governor on Wednesday, he, he tweeted that these three activists, they backed illegal actions at that site. The judge said whether or not that is true, we'll figure that out in court. But he didn't find reason to keep those three in jail today. Meanwhile, here at City Hall on Monday, 1 o'clock, that's the city council. We're expecting hundreds, if not thousands of people to turn up as the council will will vote whether or not to fund this project. We'll have more coming up a little bit later. Until then, Patrick Quinn, live outside City Hall, Atlanta News First. All right, Patrick, it will be a big day on Monday. And you may have strong opinions on the proposed public safety training site. And we're covering all sides of that issue. You can keep up with the fast-moving developments on our free Atlanta News First app and on our website, where you'll find links to our extensive coverage. Let's take a snap.